Good morning. Thanks for joining us as you get up and get going on this Thursday. We are getting ready for the return of one of Milwaukee's most popular street festivals after a two year hiatus due to the pandemic. I'm live on Brady Street where the 2022 Brady Street Festival kicks off on Saturday. Yeah, this year there's going to be more than 90 vendors and organizers anticipating anywhere from 25 to 50,000 people to come out there to Brady Street. Quiet now, but can you imagine 50,000 people down here? There will be three stages for performers and check this out. They are all local performers. It gets started at 11 a.m. in the morning on Saturday and the festival will run until midnight. So you've got all day to get out here and enjoy all that Brady Street has to offer. If you're looking to get a workout in before indulging in some great food, head over to the east end of Brady. Join the MKE Yoga Social for dog yoga. Yes, you heard me right. Dog yoga at the North Shore Bank East stage that starts at 1130 later today. You can enjoy a mix of headliners and Brady Street favorites like the annual drag show, Brady Street Babes and Milwaukee's best local bands. Now, I did spend some time with Rachel Taylor, the executive director for the Brady Street Business Improvement District, which is the organization in charge of the festival. She's been in that role for about two and a half years, right around the time the city shut down because of COVID. But today it's back in a big way. She tells me there are currently 102 businesses in the Brady Street bid. And listen to this, more shops have launched on Brady than closed over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic. I've been really impressed with the street and its ability to bounce back after the pandemic. We actually gained more businesses than we lost from the pandemic. Uh, we have some real standouts like Pete's Pub that has been doing absolutely phenomenally and they opened during the pandemic. Now some shops along the street still have shortened hours, but that's due to staffing issues. Something we'll talk more about later this morning. Bandit, a vintage shop and Twisted Plants, a really good vegan restaurant. They have both opened within the last year as well. And you'll find the newest business, Sticky Rice, at the far end of Brady Street, where it meets with Van Buren. And uh, Tom Durian, I know you're familiar with a country bar that opened up <laughs> recently here on Brady Street, oh, yeah? National North. I mean, North. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, National <laughs> North. Uh, actually, Andrew and I checked it out. It's a, it's a great place to go and listen to we live did. music. And uh, I was just looking at Twisted Plants because that's my neighborhood. So I walked by okay. it yesterday and I thought, oh, here's a new restaurant uh, that just opened up there. So I'm interested to hear a little bit more uh, later on, Andrea, about all the new stuff on Brady Street. Yeah. We'll see you throughout Twisted the Plants morning. Getting rave reviews. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll see you throughout the morning.